Leave Beverly's place. Her dinner's in the oven. Why do patients always manage to call just as we're sitting down to eat or in the middle of the night? It's a conspiracy against doctors. Yeah, and their spouses. Well, Thanks, man. I've got something to tell everyone. Well, by that smug little look on your face, it's obviously good news. Yeah, well, I came second in the test on Australian geography today. Oh, that is good news. Congratulations. It's not because of you riding a bike around Australia, Grant. Oh, then you should thank Nick. You know, I'm ready to give up that trip. My legs are stronger than ever was. But you haven't made it all the way around Australia yet. Well, I went far enough and felt every kilometre. Yeah, well, I might get to uh, some of the places that Helen did not Katie. I'll write to you about them. You're not leaving us again, are you? Yeah, I want to catch up on a few mates first and head off in a day or so. Yeah, but wouldn't you be Why better... don't we take our coffee into the living room and leave these nice young people to do the dishes? <laughs> Sounds good to me. I want to wash up. You just like playing in the water. You take. Who does this belong to? Oh, that's mine. Well, don't leave it leaning there like that. It might fall down and trip somebody over. Yeah, hop it in the garage. I didn't know you had that. It's new. And you bought it? Yeah. Well, those things are quite expensive. Where'd you get that sort of money? Well, I just saved up for it. What's wrong? Mm. I've never heard of them. I'm afraid. Oh, they're pretty new, but they're going to be big. Are they loud? Of course they're loud. You know, this funky music's pretty loud. <laughs> you just make sure you have the volume down when you play. Are oh, you early? Yeah, well, we ran out of work. So I thought I'd come home and spend some time with the family. Good for you. What are these? Oh, some new records. You just bought them? Yeah. You simply throw a lot of money around. Oh, it's no big deal. You must be saving for quite a while. Good for him. It's the only way you get what you want. Is it possible to turn that down a bit? Good idea. I'll get your headphones. I'll get my headphones. Oh, I ran into Henry today. He's had a rush of gardens to do, and he's got some work for you. Oh, I don't think so, Aunt Bev. It's not like you to knock back the chance of some extra money. It's just that schoolwork's a bit heavy right now. Oh, better tell Henry, then. Yeah, I'll go over now. What? All those records Todd's been buying, and that skateboard. You'd think you'd be running pretty low on funds. Mm, don't know. There is something else, though. Katie, you better go and finish your homework in your room. Why? Because you can't concentrate out here with people coming and going all the time. Yes, I can. Don't argue. Come on. Quick. What's this? I found them in Todd's room today while I was tidying up. I was going to ask him about them, but I couldn't quite think of a way to bring it up yet. Oh. Well, I'll talk to him if you like, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Most kids Todd's age develop an interest in uh, photography. <laughs> Paul and, and Scott did. I know when I was younger, I used to like to have a bit of a, a look at the odd naughty magazine. Oh, yes. Oh, I just read the articles. Not interested in the pictures. Oh, of course. Of course. I'll get it. Centrefold's missing. It's probably stuck up in Todd's school locker. Hello, Mike. Hi, Beverly. Jim. G'day. Uh, I realise you're probably getting dinner ready or something, so I won't hold you up. I just wondered if Jenny and I could come over and have a talk to you at some point. We're trying to sort some things out, and I think we need some professional advice. Yes, of course. Well, why don't the two of you come for dinner tonight? No, no, no. I don't want you to get any trouble. We'll come over afterwards. It's no trouble, I assure you. I'll just throw in a few extra vegetables. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Beverly. Okay, settled. I'm doing a bit of reading there, Jim. Oh, it's not how it looks. He only reads the articles. Here, love, you can put these on the table. Yeah. Thanks. I don't want you bringing any more books like this into the house, all right? I don't see what the harm is. Well, I do, and that's the end of it. I think Uncle Jim's right, Todd. The room is disgusting. Oh, how would you know, Kate? Did you put away those books you left lying around the living room? After dinner, Do I... it now. But I'm having... Now. And furthermore, I'd like to know where you got them. From the second-hand bookshop. Well, they don't seem to be in good enough condition to sell. Most of the photographs have been cut out. Still, I've got a good mind to go and have a talk to the owner. He shouldn't be selling books like this to kids your age. I'll get it. So I hope I've made my point. There are a lot better things you could spend your time reading. Yes, I've got you. It's my honey, Beth. Hello, Mike. Dinner won't be long. Where's Jenny? Well, she's not feeling too well. I was going to, uh, I was going to phone and cancel for both of us, but she said come along, so here I am. Right. Books. And you can have a quick shower before dinner and change out of those school clothes. Oh, can't I do it after? No, come on, get a move on. Sit down, Mike. Okay, let's see what you've got to sell us today, then. You wait till you see it. They're mind blowing. Hey, you wait 
kidding, let me see that. Uh, wait, give me the money first. It's normal price, 25 cents a photo, and dollar a cent a photo. Okay, let's see a cent a photo. Wow! Dad will probably take that one, he's really into redheads. You reckon? Hey, show it to him. <laughs> hey, Jim. I've got something here you might like. <laughs> here we are. Might be a moment. What are you boys up to over there? Nothing. Yeah, I've been watching. There seems to be a lot of snickering and whispering going on. I'm just kidding around, Mr. Green. Uh, so I said just to wait at your table. I'll bring the malted over. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, Harold, I just called in to collect your article. Oh, there it is there. Actually, I'm quite proud of it. Oh, and I've included some appropriate photos. You know, uh, young people at healthy activities. I can't wait to read it. Well, I'm off to the printers right now. I won't keep you. I can see you're quite busy. Oh, here's no rest for the wicked, eh? <laughs> right. We should be going now. Thanks a lot, guys. Where are those boys going? We've got a moulded here for one of them. Yeah. Hmm? You know, that folder you just gave to the Reverend. You yeah, my article for the parish newsletter, yes. What about it? It's got something in it that's not supposed to be there. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has a photo. Oh, Todd, I chose those photos myself. Not all of them you didn't. Uh, I don't think the Reverend's going to like it too much. What are you talking about? Well, one was sort of like this. Hmm? I'm sorry. I don't believe it. Well, the Reverend Samson opens that folder. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I told him there were photos of young people indulging in healthy activities. <laughs> well, I didn't know who was going to take it, did I? Oh, young man, you have quite possibly cost me my good name in the community, not to mention my position in the church choir. Yeah, well, he might take it as a joke. A joke? That this, this depravity? Good grief. There's only one thing to do. Get the folder back before the Reverend opens it. How? Well, how would I know? Uh, you carry on. Carry on for a moment. You come with me. Come on, come on. Out. Now, excuse me, Reverend. <laughs> yes, Harold. Oh, a word. I, I thought we might have a talk. Of course, Harold. Yes. Uh, well, um, hmm. And what's the problem? Oh, um... Well, come, come, it's not like you to be stuck for a word. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, look, my word, what a lovely spot, eh? And the work of the Lord. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Mm. Uh, well, go on. Ah. Uh, well, it's about... The choir. Yes, yes, it's about the church choir. Uh, yes. We've known for quite some time people were staying away from the church in droves, especially the young ones, and to attract them back would be very satisfying indeed. Hmm. How, um, how would you go about it? Well, as I was saying, um, the church choir could be a fine starting point. You're not thinking of turning this into a rock and roll group, are you? <laughs> no, of course not, no. No, I just think that, well, perhaps during each service, we could allow the young people to improvise upon a hymn. Within reason, of course. Well, it may work. Uh, providing it's not too loud, we wouldn't want to drive the older members away. Oh, I'm sure we can strike a balance. Uh, yes, it's a very fine suggestion indeed. <laughs> I'll leave you to arrange everything, and I'll look forward to hearing our first hit. Him on the hit parade. Oh, I do <laughs> like that idea. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get this off to the printers. Uh, but wouldn't you like to discuss us some no, other details? No, I'll leave it in your trustworthy hands. Well, God bless. Uh, oh. Oh, couldn't you have kept him for any longer? I nearly had it. I did the best I could. Now he's on the way to the printers. Come on, we've still got time. We can now, catch just him. a minute. You are coming to choir practice this week.
Yeah, <laughs> Rev, you day, eh? Yes, indeed. It, uh, it's Joseph, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Joe. Joe Mangle. Yeah, well, we haven't seen you in church for some time, Joe. No, no, I've been a bit busy. Uh, you know, I've got the ping pong on. I've got it. Wait here. What? I'll see you later. He's going to go. Give my regards to your lovely mother when next you write. Yeah. Yes, Rev. Oh. 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 You got Rev just an accident. I'll let you get him back in order. Oh, there you go. I'll fix it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got it. Good lad. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. <laughs> now, are you sure there was only one of them? Uh, yeah, I've got to go to school. No, just a minute, young man. This whole sorry incident should never have happened in the first place. And you have got some explaining to do, not just to me. But I'm sure Beverly and Jim would like to hear what you've got to say for yourself. When I think what might have happened if Reverend Sampson had seen that photograph, well, the blood runs cold. Fortunately, Harold, no great harm was done. Oh, well, no thanks to young Mr. Landers here. I was the one that got them back, remember? Oh, that's you a... shouldn't have had to get them back because you shouldn't have had them in the first place. I'm very disappointed in you, Todd. Now I know where you got the money for the skateboard and the records. You lied to me. You told me you saved up. I did, from the money I got for the photos. Now, let me get this straight. You bought second-hand girly magazines, cut out the pictures, and sold them to the boys at school. Is that right? Yeah, I made a huge profit. Enterprising. That's hardly the point, Helen. What do you intend doing with the boy, Jim? Well, for a start, you can give back the profit you made from your little vice ring. That's not fair. It was just business, supply and demand. All the kids at school wanted them, so I didn't see what was wrong selling it to them. Well, if you didn't see what was wrong, you can go without your pocket money until you do. <laughs> no buts. That's final. Well done, Jim. Uncle Jim. Yeah, mate. I just wanted to say sorry about the photos and everything. Apology accepted. Does that mean I get my pocket money back? Uh-uh. How come? I didn't know I was doing anything wrong, honest. Then why were you carrying on in secret? And why did you panic at the coffee shop? I'm afraid you'll have to do a lot better than that, my friend, before you solve it again. How am I going to live without any money? It's a jungle out there. That's your problem. It's not fair. It was just business. Maybe I could find something else, something legit. I think so. we've had enough wheeling and dealing for the moment. Have you finished your homework? No. Go and do it. 